Hello everyone, good morning. Today we are going to start with a new chapter that is life processes. Right? This is the chapter of bio, the first chapter and a very interesting chapter, one of my favorite of course. And I hope you all are also going to enjoy it. A very interesting chapter. Right? The word life itself is very really beautiful. Right? We see the beauty of life all around us. We see so many beautiful things. We see the uh, butterflies flying. We see the birds flying. We see the animals, dogs, cats, etc. moving around. Which make us know, yes, there is life in there. So mainly, how do we come to know if anything has life in it, that is by its movement, right? If, uh, suppose you see a dog lying on the road, how will you come to know whether it is having life or not? Whether it is dead or it is alive? We see the breathing movement. And by that breathing movement, we come to know Yes, this is alive. So, rather, we can say that movement is the main thing that we see if we want to find out something is alive or not. But what about plants? Plants do not show that movement. But we still come to know that they are alive. Because we see that they are green in color. They are growing slowly. And we come to know, yes, they are alive. But what happens in a very, very minute organisms? Like the microorganisms. Right? These days you are hearing lots about virus, virus, coronavirus, all um, spreading out very fast. But can you see it? No, we don't even see it. We cannot see it. But still, it is there in the atmosphere. These microorganisms also have life. Although when it is, these viruses, when they are in the atmosphere, we do not see any movement in them. That is uh, why there is a controversy also, whether it is alive or not. But these viruses, once they enter into any living organism, they enter into their cells, they use the machinery of their cells and become active. And you all know, these days you are hearing about this virus, how soon it starts multiplying. So it shows its movement when it is inside the Cell. Now, why is this molecular movement very important? Why it is needed in our life? Right? So, that, that is what we are going to discuss now. Why molecular movement is important? You know, all the living organisms they have a well organized structure. Any organism, it is made up of organ systems. We have already studied this. Organ systems have organs in them. Then organs, they are made up of tissues. And tissues, they are made up of Cells. So inside the cells there is always some molecular movement taking place. Why? Because these cells they are made up of certain molecules. You know and molecules you all know they are made up of atoms. Because everything around us, all the matter they are made up of small, small particles called atoms. So, for this system to work properly, because this system is continuously having effect of 
environment on it right and because of that if any of this fails whether tissues or organs or organ system any of these fail to work the organism will die it will be no more right so ultimately what is making it work that is the molecular movement the molecules that is why molecular movement is needed for life so that all this can work properly right now this because just now i said environment is continuously having an effect on this so some breaking repairing is continuously going on inside our body because of that effect something breaks it has to be repaired so that it can function smoothly so continuously repairing and maintenance work is going on inside our body and these repairing and maintenance processes they are done by some systems of our body they are known as these processes which help in the repairing and maintenance that is known as life process right so all these processes which help in the repairing and maintenance that is known as life process now for this repairing and this maintenance to go on energy chahiye theek hai energy kahan se milegi food se so jo hum food andar le rahe hain usse hame energy milti hai us energy ki wajah se repairing and maintenance process continuously chalta rahta hai this taking in of the food we taken so many varieties of food right so all this taking in of food and absorbing it inside our body that is known as nutrition right that process is known as nutrition now nutrition it also um, has to be that food that we take in wo food kahan se aayega wo food hamari body ke andar nahi ban raha hai wo food hame bahar se lena padega theek hai hum khana khate hain aur bahut sari alag alag variety ka khana khate hain to wo food hame andar ja ke direct aise hi an energy nahi dega that food has to be broken up it has to be broken up into simple food because the food that we are taking that is in the complex form so that has to be broken into simpler form so that we can absorb that food right अब वो एनर्जी हमारी बॉडी में जब सिंपल फॉर्म में आ गया फिर ट्रांसपोर्ट होगा बॉडी में वहां से हमें एनर्जी कैसे मिलेगी वो एनर्जी भी हमें अलग अलग तरीके से मिलती है मेन प्रोसेस ऑफ गेटिंग एनर्जी इज of respiration which is an oxidation reduction process now oxidation reduction you have read in the chemistry chapter also that is 
uh, oxygen is taken in or it is removed from a body right तो जब हम खाना खाते हैं वो हमारे अंदर जाएगा सेल्स में जाएगा सेल्स में क्या होगा बाहर से जब हम ऑक्सीजन ब्रीथ करेंगे ऑक्सीजन अंदर लेंगे वो जाकर ग्लूकोज के साथ कंबाइन करेगा ठीक है तो वहां पर ऑक्सीडेशन होगा क्योंकि ऑक्सीजन कंबाइन कर रहा है किसके साथ ग्लूकोज के साथ एंड एज अ रिजल्ट बाहर क्या निकलेगा कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड दिस विल गेट रिड्यूस्ड राइट फिर वो रिडक्शन प्रोसेस होगा कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड विल बी रिलीज आउट वॉटर विल बी रिलीज आउट प्लस एनर्जी विल बी रिलीज आउट सो देन दिस एनर्जी विल बी यूज टू मेंटेन द रिपेयरिंग एंड मेंटेनेंस प्रोसेस This energy will be used up to uh, for all the metabolic processes that are going on inside our body. There are so many metabolic processes. Digestion is going on, respiration, circulation, transport uh, that is transportation, then um, excretion. अलग अलग processes में use होगी ये energy. That is why energy is also very important. And to get energy. nutrition is very important that is the intake of food so now in this chapter we are going to study about these different life processes that take place inside our body mainly in this chapter you are going to study about four uh, main life processes that is nutrition and digestion then respiration that is after we take in food we have to gain energy from it then how this is circulated inside our body so circulatory system or the transport system and then after that how the waste is excreted out of our body that is the excretory system these are the four main life processes there are other processes also which you are going to read in the further chapters that is the nervous system control and coordination then the reproductive system but these four are very important because if any one of these system fail any one the life is finished there will be no more life of course without a uh, uh, nervous system reproduction system they also have their own uh, importance uh, they also play a very important role in our body but we can survive if any one of that is not working but if any of these is not working life cannot be continued right so in my next video i take up the first system that is nutrition and the digestion children we are going to study about all these systems in humans as well as in plants so side by side we will be taking up both right so for today this is what you learn you revise till we meet next time and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe okay thank you